Welcome back to Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube channel. This is the last Friday edition, actually last edition of Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube channel uh, from 2017. So happy new year to everybody. I'll see you again next year. Today we're going to talk about how to use Google Docs, specifically how to share Google Docs like a pro. Okay, hopefully you're using Google Docs already because it's a wonderful tool and if you're not, uh, link in the description to some Google Docs, Google Drive, Google uh, Classroom kind of stuff that I've done in the past. But if you're using Google Docs, please, 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 please understand how to share them because nothing drives people crazier if they know how to share Google Docs than people who don't share them correctly and nothing impresses people more than people who know how to share correctly if they don't know how. So you're a winner either way. Uh, but everybody understands how we can come over here and hopefully everybody can hit the share button and it pulls up a box where we can actually type in the email address or if their contact is in our, our Google contacts, we can type in their name and we can give them either edit rights, comment rights or view rights, hit done, it sends them a notification and they can then edit, view, whatever the document. But if you're giving it to a class or you're giving it to your school or your faculty or at a, at a conference, uh, that's too many people to try to type in all the names. Maybe you don't even know all the people. Uh, so you need a link to send people either through Google Classroom or shorten it and throw it up on the screen, that kind of thing. So this is how you can do some shortcuts with that and look like a pro using it. So up here in the URL bar, you see this word edit. That is at the end of any document that you're able to edit. So what would happen if we change that to copy? And then you share that link. Well, all of a sudden, if somebody goes to that link with copy at the end of it, then it's gonna ask them, would you like to make a copy? That makes their own copy. So you're not sharing a view only with them and then telling them go to file, make a copy, and then make their own copy. You're forcing them off the bat to make a copy immediately. Um, so that's, that's trick number one. Trick number two is to give them a preview so that then they can see what it is and make a copy if they want to. And so to do that, we replace edit again. Okay, so if we go back, let's just keep going back. All right, so we're back at our document and we replace edit with template slash preview. And that pulls up a preview of our document. And it looks kind of like a PDF, but it's not a PDF. Uh, but it brings out the preview of our document. And then if I wanted to make my own copy of it, I can click this use template and then it would make my own copy of it. So this way people can see what you're talking about. If it's notes, if it's slides, if it's anything like that, this works in slides, sheets, docs, drawing. Um, but you know, they can look at what you're talking about or what you're doing. And then if they want to keep it, they can use template button up here in the top right corner. And then they have their own copy. All right. So that's number two. We got co slash copy, and now we got slash template slash preview for number two. We'll go back to our original, and we'll replace edit again with, so our last way uh, of sharing a Google document is replacing edit with preview. And that just gives us a no menu preview of the document. So it's not a view only copy. It's not a comments only, anything like that. It's a preview. It's less like a print preview, but there's no folder there's no files. There's no edit. There's no options at the top. And so if you want a, a document that people have a harder time uh, stealing, uh, then you would do something like this. Now, um, once they're at the document, if they know these tricks, they can change preview to edit or preview slash template or template slash preview um, and, and then be able to, to make a copy of it. But this just makes it a little bit harder. Plus it gives you a nice, neat, clean look to your document that you're trying to share with people and talk about. And so uh, those are your three tips for Friday on how to 
use Google Documents and share them like a pro. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, give me a like down below. And if you like my videos, give me a subscribe so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, hopefully I'll be putting out a video come Monday, just like normal, even though it's the first. And uh, I will be celebrating uh, by watching bowl games with my family. But um, happy new year, everybody, and see you next year.